we are headed into an estate sale to do a little thrifting for home decor. I'm going to show you around at all the stuff they had to offer and then share with you what I bought. So come on in, let's go thrifting. Hello there everyone and welcome to today's thrifting video. Like I said, we are in an estate sale and we're going to just look around, see what all they have to offer, and then I'll be sharing with you the great finds that I brought home with me. This particular estate sale was run by a consignment store or company that set it up. So I feel like the prices are a little higher when they are run by a company like this. But I also think that means everything is better organized, laid out, and displayed. I feel like you can find things better. You can tell straight away that there was a lot of really good treasures here at this sale. There was so much of this beautiful crystal and glassware. I saw a lot of things that I would have loved to have brought home, but we can't rescue it all. The crystal rose bowls were so pretty. They had a big collection of them here and it makes me want to pull all of mine out of storage that I received when I got married. So that was a long time ago and I used to use them all the time in my decor and I think I need to bring that back. There's typically more kitchenware at an estate sale, but this was the morning of the second day of the sale, so I don't know if they had already sold a whole lot of stuff. Several things caught my eye. This bowl was so pretty. I liked the little rose pattern around the edge of it. There was some wear on the gold trim that kept me from picking it up and bringing it home with me. The butcher block was sold, but it was so beautiful. It was worn but in a good way so you could tell that it had cooked and prepared a lot of meals on it and just had a rich history. I want to apologize and ask you to bear with me with some of the video quality here today. I replaced my four-year-old phone finally and I have a much better camera on this phone that I have. It's a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, but I am learning to rework all the settings and it's a cur it's a learning curve for me. So bear with me. I am watching tons of videos. I'm messing with a lot of my settings, trying to get it just right. So I know that it jumps a little bit in some of the footage. And for some reason, it's not wanting to focus on those orange price tags. And it's a little fuzzy in places. So I sincerely apologize for that. I feel like my old phone filmed so much better, which it's not true. Like I said, this is a much better camera. I am just relearning settings on this new phone. So that will improve as I learn to work these settings. So thank you for understanding that. This antique butter mold was $15 and I was so tempted to get it. You will see I come back to it several times, but I ultimately left this behind. Drop me a comment and let me know if I made a huge mistake not getting this butter mold. I know it would have been so cute to display, but I only like to buy things that I immediately know how and where I would put them. And I didn't really feel that with this butter mold. so. I I left it for somebody else and I hope they love it. I am not a reseller. What I buy is for my personal use in my home. I have to be very conscious and aware of how many items I bring into my home and at the same time manage how much goes out so that it does not become too much and overwhelming. The garage was full of treasures. This old timey cash register was so fun. Somebody actually picked it up and bought it soon after I showed it here on this clip. 
trip. I believe it was $250. There was some old picture frames, nothing fabulous. I think it's kind of sad that family pictures were still in the frames. This was a, a nice little script here of a poem it looked like it would have been cutely displayed. I was very tempted by this Christmas cross stitch with the little deer. Another thing that I decided to leave behind. I just, I'm kind of over Christmas right now, I think. Burnt out maybe a little bit. This steamer trunk was $75. It was really nice. It would have been a great addition to somebody's home. You could use it as a coffee table or side table, plus you would have the storage inside. And these shutter doors were a nice find. You could definitely paint these out and make them into fabulous decor in your home. I also thought all these antique and vintage tools and roller skates were a fabulous find. They were priced pretty reasonable. They had these ice skating blades. It looked like I think that they strapped onto shoes maybe. I don't know. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. I am not even going to claim to be an expert on any of this. I'm just here having fun and sharing what I find. Sneak peek at the brass duck bookends that I picked up and brought home. I always look through the books at estate sales and garage sales. You can find some very unique coffee table books at reasonable prices. I look for what the book looks like underneath the dust jacket so that I can take it off and display it. Hardback books for $5 each unless they were individually marked. For $69, this vintage metal plant stand in the shape of a fan was amazing. I loved it. I tried to think of a way I could incorporate it into my home and just could not. I also loved this old military print. That would be a fun addition to like a gallery wall. These frames were really good. They were $25 each. I was hoping to get them on the half price day, but they were already gone. I did go back on the Saturday that everything was half price and it was pretty picked over. I liked this lamp too. I think that it had a really nice vintage feel to it. And I think these were dreidels. So cute. I loved these and the shapes and the colors that they were worn. I think that's what they are. If I'm mistaken, please drop a comment and let me know. And the ink for this fountain pen, very nice. A very nice addition to either your desk or if you are a collector. Estate sales are a great place to find things like this. This was a sewing desk for $75. That was a really good find. And you could tell that there were a lot of sewing supplies here in the house. This little clown doll. I don't particularly care for clowns. I have a personal aversion to them. <laughs> but it was a very well done little doll. Again, some more frames. baby shoes. These were really cute. I know these would be really nice to display. And just some vintage collections here. I remember this particular tin or something similar to it from my childhood. So that brought back a lot of memories. And I loved this pillow. I almost bought it, but I decided I wanted something that had a cover that could be removed, so I left it behind. And again, with the vintage sewing supplies here and the tin alone here with these metal ship embossing on it was absolutely gorgeous. 
There were a lot of fabulous quilts at this estate sale. I wanted to pull them all out and show them to you, but it was very crowded at this estate sale on this day, trying to film and hold everything. I've, I've got to work up to that skill for you <laughs> so that I can better share things. And I always try to be very careful and conscientious of people's privacy and keeping them off camera. So it, it, it's a juggling act. This blue and white ceramics here were so pretty and I almost touch it you can see and then I got to thinking is this a chamber pot what is this what has been in this pot maybe I should not touch it <laughs> I don't know what it is do you let me know in the comments if you know what this jug is or this vessel because I didn't know this room was also very dark. There was not much lighting in here. So the quality on this is kind of bad, even though I've tried to turn up the exposure. But look at all these antique and vintage fashion items. I loved these little boots. They were $75. The fur collars, the beaded purses, the leather gloves. They had this French antique, or they just say old, uh, luggage set, and it was all still here on the half price day. Nobody had snagged that luggage. I took you shopping with me, and now I'm going to share what I bought. The first thing was this silver pedestal bowl. It was $15. There's no maker mark on it, but it was in a really nice condition. I loved the fluting around the top edge. Just a really nice display bowl. I also got this silver tray. I think it's probably silver plate, $5. And there's a little dent in it, but I think once I style it, you'll never notice that. I love the detailing around the rim of this little plate. It'll be cute for a candle or just to anchor decor down to the vignette. The next thing I'm going to share is this $5 book. Like I said, I love to look for books that you can take the dust jacket off and then they're pretty. But I also like that they are interesting for what is inside of them as well. This is a Texas book over Natchez. And not only is the cover this beautiful soft green linen texture, it has the most beautiful historical homes inside and out with floor plates plans. This book is from the 1960s and it's historical back to homes in the early 1800s. So very nice and it will be a great addition to my styling. The second book I got was also $5 and by the same author as the Natchez book. This one features Louisiana plantation homes. It has that very similar linen fill cover just in a softer green. And again, beautiful pictures on the inside and the history of all of the homes that it features. The third book I picked up at the Estate Sale was a little pricier. It was marked $10. It is the Texas Homes of the 19th Century. It's another historical book featuring homes and is rich with history. Very nice cover in a light charcoal gray with a lot of historical pictures of homes in and around Texas in the early 1800s another book to add to my coffee table and bookshelf styling. Here you get to see those brass duck head bookends up close. I paid quite a bit for this, $30 for the pair. They are very heavy. They're solid brass. I couldn't stop thinking about them, so I actually went back the first day after I ran some other errands. So that's what told me that they were worth the $30. And I look forward to sharing them with you in my upcoming spring decorating and styling. I bought this silver urn on the half price Saturday that I went back. It was originally marked $25 and I ended up getting it for $12.50. It is also very heavy and in pristine condition. It just needs a little polishing up. I have not touched up any of the items I bought yet. I am sharing them just as they came from the estate sale. I did not remember seeing this the first day I walked through and so I I was able to find something I hadn't seen before and pick it up on that half price deal.
I am so glad you went thrifting at the estate sale with me today. Let me know if you saw something that I did not touch on or purchase that you would have liked to have had. I love to hear from you in the comments. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up, liking this video, subscribe if you haven't. I would love for you to come back for future uploads. Until I see you in that next video, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day.